Students of Editing, let's take a look at Word 2007's Reviewing tab and the various editing tools available there. You see that the Review tab is up here, one of the primary tabs. It has several clusters of tools. We won't go into the Compare Documents or Protect Documents. That's, uh, definitely special purpose. Editors should know about them. Uh, but we just want to cover the basics. So what we're going to look at is mainly in the tracking area and the comments area. The tracking of course turns on your options and if you just click on that and pull up the options panel there are a number of things you want to look at. Um, for one thing, I would take off the track formatting. It just confuses things, adds tracking you don't need for most jobs. Um, this would be, for instance, if you added boldface or took boldface off or really made any kind of formatting change at all, this would be tracked. In most cases, your job wouldn't require you to, to worry about that. Um, so you take that off. You also have balloons down here, which will reduce the size of your text area so that these callouts linked to various edits can appear in the right margin of your uh, document. Of course, you could make them appear in the left margin if you wanted to, but most people have them appear in the right margin. They have three inches. Um, this can be good for some comments. Uh, I don't particularly like to use it but a lot of people do. If you have a lot of comments, it, it can be counterproductive because you end up with a solid line of uh, balloons on the right of your page. So generally I turn this off and I'll show you what I do instead for comments in another segment. Um, you can check the options up here. It's quite normal to have uh, insertions underlined, but you know I prefer to put things uh, inserted text in bold. You can uh, pick a particular color. I definitely like to have mine in blue. The deletions strike through in red. Um, is my choice. The change lines can come in handy and it wouldn't hurt to put a little color on them as well. So I'm going to put red change lines that are going to appear uh, outside the border, like here and here on the page. Uh, that way, somebody just scanning the document can see whether there's still changes left in it. Um, you can track moves as well. That is, when you delete text and then paste it somewhere else, this used to be unavailable in track changes and people complained about it so they've added that. Um, in most cases I wouldn't worry about this but if you saw an editing job in which uh, moving sentences or blocks of text around, more likely blocks of text, uh, is going to be part of your edit you might want to come in and turn this on and select a, an unusual color uh, so that the reviewer or uh, author uh, can quickly understand that this different colored text means that uh, a passage was deleted in one place and inserted in another place. Once you've got things set up, of course, to get your changes started, you've got to turn on the track changes. And you see that the inserted text is going to be easily visible in bold and blue, and the strike through text is going to be in red. Um, when you're reviewing your editor, you want to come up here and choose the final view so that you can see the text as it would be if all of your edits were accepted. And this will let you pick up any little mistakes that you may have introduced in the track changes.